So basically what the control will do is take a look at the data that's being fed to the data grid and take that same data and export it out to Excel. Now, there's some hooks that you can tap into in order to change the format and apply some special styles. I'm gonna keep it really simple in this, this demo, but there's a lot of power and a lot of functionality available to you. So all I have to do is simply click on Export to Excel and it will export the data and I have it uh, set up to automatically launch Excel and show us uh, everything that's involved. So here's the data just as we saw it within the, the data grid and um, putting it together actually is pretty simple. So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. Here we are in Visual Studio and I've got just some simple things already set up in this window for us. You'll notice to begin with um, there's a stack panel with the XAM data grid and um, it's already bound up to some data in the code behind here you'll see that I've brought in a view model base class which basically just has a people property that goes to the, the fake repository and creates some instances of the people class. That's being set to the grid data source and beyond that really nothing else is happening. So in order to get started to using the exporter, the first thing that we want to do is bring in the namespace into the XAML. So what we'll do here is uh, underneath the data presenter namespace is just bring in the Excel exporter namespace. So that's infragistics.com slash Excel exporter. After that, we can start to define uh, the exporter as a resource in the window. From here we can just do IG Excel exporter and the data presenter Excel exporter and then we'll just give it a key. And I'm just going to call this exporter. Now that, the, now that that's been declared in the XAML, and we should close off our tag here, we can start working with it in the code behind. But actually before we drop to the code behind, let's do one other thing. We need to add our button. So we'll create a button on here. The content will just be export to Excel. The name can just be BTN export. And we'll create a, create a new event handler for it. Now we can drop back to the code behind and start writing some code. Now there's a few uh, using statements that we'll need in order to, to make everything work correctly. First of all, we need to do using Infragistics Excel and Infragistics Windows Data Presenter dot Excel Exporter. So the Excel namespace has some, some formattings. You'll see there's some enumeration uh, items in there and the Excel exporter namespace here has the, the namespace for the control that we need. So when you click on the export button, the first thing that we want to do is define a file name. And I'm just going to hard code something here right now. Obviously, you'd never want to do <laughs> anything like this under uh, production circumstances, but we'll just go to the temp folder and we'll just call this TMP XLS. XLSX actually because we're going to do a 2007 format document and then we'll declare a data presenter uh, exporter and we'll get the instance of this class from what's been instantiated up in our XAML so we'll need to cast it to an exporter and we'll get it from the resources of this page and the key that we gave it was exporter Then from there we need some export options. Create a new instance of this class. And the options give you an, a number of different things that you can, you can set up. Um, spacing between child records, deciding how you're going to deal with field layouts and filters and visibility and sort order and summaries and all kinds of stuff. The one I'm interested in right now um, our data won't hit it, but something I just want to show you so you're aware of it is the file limit behavior. And you can choose it, you can choose to either throw an exception or truncate the data. I'd probably want to uh, throw an exception and again, under regular circumstances, we'd wrap this in a try catch and do something when that exception is thrown. But just so you know that that option is available and you probably want to explicitly set the file limit behavior so you know exactly what's happening if you run into some large data sets. 
then from the exporter we'll call the export method and to begin with with the data presenter our, our grid is the data presenter so we'll just pass in our grid um, then we want to pass in the file name telling it where to go and then the workbook format you can see that it's, you can go to Excel 2007, the 97 to 2003 are macro enabled. I want to just do a simple 2007 document. And then the last thing here is we'll pass in our options. Once that's done, then what we can do is, is cheat. We can do system, diagnostics, uh, process, and just spin up Excel. So start info, a file name, is equal to our file name and then p start so this starts excel because basically the the file extension is, is associated to excel so let's go ahead and run it and see how it works so here's our window we've got the grid with all the data in it we can click export to excel it creates the excel document and launches excel with that document so like I said, there's, there's a styling, there's a number of different options that are available, but this gets you the basics of how to get going exporting your data out to Excel. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.